Hi everyone. I wanted to take a moment to show you some of the new splash screen options currently in development. As many of you know, with our new pricing structure, Unity Plus and Pro subscribers can opt out of using a splash screen before their game. It's totally up to you. And for those who do wish to include a splash screen, we've created a new tool that allows you to animate your logo along with a defocused background image or color, as well as the Made with Unity brand. These new options are located in the player settings. The first option is of course to enable or disable the splash screen. Following this are our new splash screen tools. First off, you can specify a light or dark Unity logo. Let's start by looking at the default design, which we can preview in the game view. Now let's add our own logo. Here I've got a 1024 square texture of my company logo, and I'll throw this into the logo image slot and preview once more. Note that by default, we see our image and the Made with Unity logo combined on one screen, but you may also want to show them sequentially. If so, choose whether you want the Unity logo first or last using the Draw Mode dropdown. Let's preview again with the Unity logo last. Now let's look at the background. First off, we can adjust the background color. Let's try this and preview again. You will notice here that we adjust for light and dark with what we call the overlay opacity. We do this to help the logo stand out, but if you need to use a background color, you can dial this down to zero and just see the color itself. Next we have the background image option. This is where we allow you to put in a key graphic from your game and automatically apply a Gaussian blur to stop the background clashing with the logo. I have this concept art from our new adventure game project. So I'm going to place that in the background image slot and hit preview once more. Also note here, for those of you working on mobile, we also have the option to place in an alternate portrait aspect background image. Finally, we have the animation options. You can choose from two simple modes we've preset for you, static or dolly. or you can choose custom and define the zooming and duration of the logos and background manually. Note that for those using personal edition, this splash screen tool will also be available, but with the ability to adjust the overlay opacity disabled in order to ensure the contrast between the background and logos. This feature is currently in development and QA with an aim to have it ship as part of Unity 5.5. That's all for now. We hope that you get a kick out of this feature and create some cool introductions for your games. We'd love to get your feedback, so please sound off in the comments.